what are we going to do? We have to make an audition tape for a casting director, for our agent. We're submitting to an independent project. We need to put together a self-taped audition. This is only about capturing and editing. Here are my tips. First of all, you're going to use your smartphone. It's going to be an iPhone. Now, the tips I'm giving are for, I believe, iPhone 8 users and above because I'm almost positive that the things that I'm going to be talking about are only possible with newer technology. So right out of the gate, I'm going to tell you there are many different camera apps you can use with your iPhone. You know that there's one that comes packaged with the device. It's called the camera app. It just says camera, right? You can go to video and here's the first pro tip. Because lighting is so important in videos and because lighting often changes when you move in and out of a light source, sometimes the exposure on your face, it changes and your camera will try to automatically adjust, which can make strange things happen with the image quality. So as we said, AEAF lock would be right now, you're filming me. And if I'm moving, exposure might be changing. Therefore, you would want to lock with your AEAF lock. Okay, and then what, what can I do while and this is locked? And then you can adjust. Once it's locked, you can still change it. Do you want a brighter? Do you want a darker? Oh, maybe somewhere there in the middle. Ah, that's it. Just right. Check in with your friend. Great, look good. Yay. Looks good. And then you start filming. Which means auto exposure, auto focus, lock and we want this to be locked so then it doesn't automatically adjust the exposure. In an audition video, usually you're gonna want a head to toe slate, meaning we want a full body slate. Sometimes, depending on our location, we can't get a decent looking slate when we're filming in landscape, which is this mode. So sometimes we have to film in portrait mode or in vertical mode, all right? So, let's say we slate, we film our slate this way and then we film our scene this way. Then we have to edit these two things together and it has to look amazing. And it is possible. What we're gonna do right here on iMovie on the smartphone is we're gonna do all that editing right there. I turn the camera towards me and then I put it on a tripod. Of course, you have to have your smartphone mounted on some kind of stabilizer when you're doing your auditions. You put it in selfie mode, you make sure that you're framed head to toe and you record that baby right? And then hopefully if you're doing a scene, you have a friend who's behind the camera and they're going to film your scene and they're going to film it this way. They're not going to film it this way. They're going to film your scene this way. And if you absolutely have to, you can film your slate this way, but only if you absolutely have to, because you have too much clutter on the sides of your frame in your house and you need that narrower frame size. Okay. If you can, by all means and recommended, shoot, film everything this way. Film everything this way if possible. Okay. But now, we have something filmed this way and something filmed this way. We're going to drag it into iMovie. So we're going to open up iMovie on our phone, on our smartphone. We have that big old plus button, which means new project. We're going to create a new project. It's going to be a movie. Once we hit that movie button, it's going to open up all of our videos. We're going to grab that slate file. We're going to grab that video file and then with the slate file selected, which is that once you can make that yellow, Go down there in your timeline, select the slate. You're gonna go up and hit pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom and then you are gonna change that size, right? And look, oh my gosh, that's just how you filmed it. Now your slate looks as it was shot. You have it lined up right next to your scene which was shot in the wider landscape frame. And there you go, you have your audition edited. If you're using iMovie at home, that should be even easier and I have a tutorial. I do recommend, at least for me it's a lot easier, to edit my projects on my desktop. So I will nine times out of ten bring my files onto my desktop and do my video editing for my auditions on my desktop. More on that in the tutorial. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was a very quick course on filming and editing using the iPhone. And I am here for private coaching and consultations. I am only a phone call away. Be mighty.